When I first heard about this, the first thought that I had was that Nexium is back. <laughs> so there is an orgasm cult featured by Goop, which was run by the lovely Gwyneth Paltrow. Um, and well, let's just get into the article. Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well today. My name is Beth, or Queen of Spade. Please do give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, and without further ado, let's throw some spade. So as I stated, this company is being investigated by the FBI. No, not Chris Hansen's fake FBI, like the real FBI. So I found a great article that outlines this. Let's take a look at it now. So the FBI is accusing this MLM of being a sex trafficking cult and abusing people. So I just do want to give a trigger warning before we continue on. If that's triggering for you, please do not watch this video. I do not censor myself while I'm reading the article at all. Thanks, guys. So the founder was interviewed by Gwyneth Paltrow and it was also featured in Goop and now it is under investigation for sex trafficking, prostitution and violating other labor laws. One Taste was founded in 2004 and has been branded a sex cult after it preached that female orgasms could be used to change the world. Let's talk about organic meditation. Nicole is a longtime proponent and teacher of the practice where a person lies down and their partner strokes their for 15 minutes using a learned technique. Nicole unpacks the complexity surrounding orgasm like no one we know. Link in bio to listen to our conversation. So I found this article here that outlines basically the entire cult and why they are in trouble. So One Taste was co-founded in 2004 by California native Nicole De Doan and focuses on the practice of orgasmic meditation. Thousands of customers signed up to learn orgasmic meditation or OM with One Taste. Attracted by De Doan's promises it could improve their sex life, help them to reclaim their sexuality and even aid in recovery from sexual trauma. She insisted this, even though during this podcast, someone stated that they actually received PTSD from being in it. It says that they would make their distributors do these coaching programs, which would cost up to $60,000. And at its peak, One Taste had a 150 members of staff, many who had originally joined the community as customers. Now, a BBC journalist has now said that it is an orgasm cult. He has been exploring the journey. This is Nicole here. As you can see, she looks like a very sexually empowered woman. I have no issue with that whatsoever. My issue with this company is the way they are running their their cult practices. So first developed in a commune in Northern California in the 1960s, orgasmic meditation, also known as OM or OMing, was first introduced to Nicole by a Buddhist monk pictured a couple practice it here and this was back in 2018 with a british instructor and right now with the fbi investigation going on they actually cannot practice and they haven't for about two years I had a full-blown PTSD when I left One Taste, a woman said. I was very, very scared and very afraid. I was for about two years suffering from nightmares, a deep sense of depression, and loneliness and low self-esteem. So this is obviously a very big issue. Um, basically what happened is Nicole went and had this meditation done 
to her by a Buddhist monk, and she began teaching it in 2001, which then led her to uh, basically begin an MLM and just start teaching it to everyone that she just possibly could. And I am going to leave a link to this down in the description. And in 2018, students were paying $499 for a weekend course, $4,000 for a retreat, $12,000 for a spot in the coaching program, and $16,000 for intensives, which an all-inclusive option also offered for $60,000. And of course, there were group classes, which by the way, creeps me out a little bit. They would all kind of lay around and do this all together. Describing the benefits of OM in an interview with Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop, Nicole said, OM changes the way we respond to sensation. It changes our brain. It strengthens the parasympathetic nervous system, rest and digest, as opposed to the sympathetic nervous system, fight or flight. That's what they're saying. But again, if someone has PTSD from doing it, and it affects our metabolism, heart rate pressure, respiration, and brain chemistry, and brings out a state of extended deep relaxation, similar to other mindfulness practices like meditation and yoga. So again, just do those. These changes make it possible to develop attention and access flow states, the ability to be in the zone. One Taste worked to target Silicon Valley employees who wanted to hack and improve their relationship. So again, that makes me a little bit upset because now they're preying on people who are having relationship issues and that's not cool. So Nicole believed in scaling orgasmic meditation. It started attracting more press attention and was riding on the wave of female empowerment and self-help, which in turn drove more customers. So they did a lot of virtue signaling. At its peak, it employed 150 people across nine cities, including San Francisco, New York, and London. One 2018 report suggested there were 10,000 practitioners worldwide and 2,000 in the UK alone. Speaking anonymously, one former female employee told the podcast they were talking about trying to reach hundreds of thousands of people. Oh, Lord. They were talking about wanting to change the world. It sounded sexy, and their website looked like BuzzFeed, and it was hip cool. It was super glamorous, super legitimized, and super above board, and it seemed techie. And I think it's super funny they use BuzzFeed as an example. Haha, <laughs> BuzzFeed. They had none of the lookings of a cult from the outside, as nothing does. The cults out there don't put a big sign up. Out there don't put a big sign up that says, hi, we are a cult. They manipulate you to join. So, of course. However, former members have described its sales methods as predatory, of course, and people reported being pressured into paying tens of thousands of dollars for courses, which you often are when you're in. You are only on commission when you're working for these. A lot of sales jobs will pay you an hourly wage and commission, but with these, only commission. And you're lucky if it's 20%. So they earned hardly anything while working and living in some very expensive cities. Many workers were expected to flirt with customers to close sales. And that's where it starts. Imagine if your job and you aren't in sex work and your job is apparently to flirt with people or play with them. It, it just, ugh. Some were told to have sex with potential clients and threatened with being cut out of the group if they refused. So now we're getting on to that assault thing, right? It sounds like because if they get cut out of the group, if they refuse to have sex with someone, I don't know how you don't consider that coercion, how you wouldn't consider that pretty close to the R word. So, like, I guess I'll semi-censor myself. <laughs> I mean, this is, of course, it's it's gross. I know I'm, I'm trying to joke and stuff because, again, who I am, I cannot talk about this without joking. But, right, it's, it, it, it's a really problematic thing here. And if they don't understand that that can be seen as assault, I would never go here and trust them with anything to do with sexual activity or anything. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, they obviously have an issue understanding what consent is, and so I would not trust going to them to help me with my relationship issues or my sexual issues when they don't even understand that it is really creepy to cut people out of a group if they refuse to have sex with someone. 
and that's coercion. You're forcing them then to do that, to remain in your cult. Because if there wasn't something that made something culty, there it is, right? This, it sounds like, uh, like, not an axiom. The website once used by One Taste is no longer in use, and its YouTube channel, which has more than, oh god, it had 1.5 million views. And it has not been updated in two years, which, good. I'm glad. Let me know in the comments if you want me to, uh go through some of it even if it hasn't been updated in two years it will be torture for me but just let me know nicole's personal website is no longer in use and her personal instagram account which is set to private makes no mention of one taste in the bio section because they're being investigated by the fbi in 2018 bloomberg business week published an expose after multiple men and women came forward saying they were left in debt after joining the wellness company and told to engage in sexual relations with potential clients to close sales disgusting nicole she's basically she's not a ceo she's a pimp they told the publication that they were encouraged to take expensive classes and shunned by members of the community when they did not choose to participate in the sessions disgusting here i am thinking that companies like it works and sensi treat people crappy when they leave or refuse to do things or say that they feel weird or have questions and and then i read that and i go well no that this is disgusting. At the time, One Taste told DailyMail.com that the Bloomberg article paints the company in a false light. Oh yeah? Uh, okay. Hand-picking the sensational allegations of a few while ignoring thousands of satisfied and happy customers. That's like, okay, so we opened a cult that sex traffics people and we've manipulated thousands and thousands of people so don't believe the people that left and saw the light believe all the people that are still manipulated by us that that's all that is disgust disgusting Moreover, a spokesperson for the group stated that all of the allegations are more than two years old from before One Taste transformed under new ownership and leadership into a traditional company with strong corporate governance, clear-cut sales policies and practices, and strict HR policies. But again, I'm not sure what the HR policies are would include because they don't seem to understand consent or the fact that even asking people to flirt to close a sale is would potentially it's supposed to break hr policies so uh again i i don't trust them i don't trust them or their hr just based on what the company is you know a one taste representative told mail online any allegations of abusive practices are completely false one taste was an organization that helped individuals to increase health happiness and connection through methods combining mindfulness and sexuality there's a way to do this without sex trafficking and there's a way to do this without forcing people and even without actually doing like sessions where you do the sex acts you can teach things without actually doing them does that make sense there's a lot of sexual educators out here even on youtube there's a lot of people out here i know that britney simon was well known for doing a lot of the bdsm sexual education which i feel is very important if you're in that community you definitely need you know someone out there that's telling you how to be safer about it and giving tips and things like that i don't i think that's great but this is not that that would be like if oh god britney simon's gonna hate me for this that would be like if she then opened opened up her her YouTube channel and then started making people do the BDSM acts that she talked about on her channel. Do you know what I mean? Like, and that would never happen, by the way. She is in no way, shape, or form the type of person that would ever do that. So I just have to put that out there. But that's what that would be like. And, and if a YouTuber did that, like someone like Onision, everybody would flip out. So again, I'm looking at this like, how did this company even have a youtube channel without us all being like yo there's this company on here and they're basically selling sex trafficking i i don't know so more than 300,000 people practice orgasmic meditation worldwide many have experienced profound healing and transformation is what they claim but again uh 
Well, you've heard it here. The podcast, which will be 10 episodes in total, will also explore the wider wellness industry and the way it interacts with its largely female customer base. I'm going to be checking out that podcast, of course, and I highly recommend everyone else out there does as well. So th this is creepy. This is disgusting. This is um, just gross. I, I don't have much words for it. It's, it's leaving me a little bit speechless. I am very, very happy that the FBI is now investigating this company and has been, it sounds like, for the last couple years because that's the only way that they'd shut everything down, right? So, uh, hopefully the FBI can charge Nicole. I, I do think that she's in the wrong here, but, you know, let me know if you think I'm wrong. I'm Sure, there'll be lots of people out there, even people that do this, that might come across this video and be like, I love OM. It saved my relationship. And I'm like, do you know what? The, the actual practice, maybe there's nothing wrong with it. It's just how this business taught it and how they expected people to do it. And then they ran a multi-level marketing scheme with it. That's the issue I have. I don't really have an issue with, like, if you want to, with your partner, do some kind of, like, orgasmic meditation. I don't care. I just don't think that we should have like actual brothels where people are going to do this and then they're also being made to sign up for a multi-level marketing scheme before they walk out the door. That's what I got an issue with along with it. This whole thing's just creepy. Nicole, you sound like a predator and I really do hope that the FBI puts you away for this and that this company gets shut down. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give this video a like, subscribe if you're new here. And just to end the video, I need to end this in a happy note because... Ew. So I would like to uh, just leave you with a message from one of my very good friends on here, Nicole, who, uh, you know, just wants to just wants to do a little commercial for us. And no matter where you are, or what you're doing, I hope you all have a fabulous, fabulous day. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Roll commercial for ha happy, happy thoughts. We are Herb Life, and we have an amazing opportunity for you. Are you looking for a new way to make a difference while earning some extra supplemental income? Well, we have the answer. Join Herb Life. You give us some money, we help you make some money, we give you herbs. It's just that easy. You like to be on top and go all the way to the bottom? Oops, I meant the other way around. Herb Life, we are what's cooking. We like to fill you and fuel you up and give you lots of money too. So come join our MM. Come, come join Herb Life today. Herb Life is not an MLM. We are not an MLM. Take this for granted. Don't take it for granted. But we are definitely not an MLM. Herb Life.